Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Fuller High School. I'm Demi the II, and I'm Joseph Drake. Welcome to another day of Fuller High School on a fantastic Friday. We have a lot of announcements for you today, so listen up, because this is the Lion Pride News. Good morning, Fly High School. My name is George Austin. Here are today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Callie Frey, Tristan Trim, and our Fly High teacher, Miss Covington. And for tomorrow's birthdays, happy birthday to Ariel Sermon, Hannah Bass, Alonzo Prim, and Taylor Smith. Have a great day and a happy birthday. The ACT will be administered statewide next Tuesday to all high school juniors. The Alabama State Department of Education will use student scores on this test for state school report cards. Here are some test-taking strategies to know before you take the ACT. Take notes on the test itself. Mark up the test booklet as much as you need. Underline important words, make notes in the margins, circle facts, cross out answers you know are wrong, draw diagrams, work out math problems to avoid careless errors. Read each question carefully. Be sure you read and understand each question before trying to answer it. Circle keywords in the question such as accept. Read all the answers. Even if one answer jumps out as right, it could be a deliberate distractor. Ignore all distractions. Get in the zone. Don't let someone coughing or thoughts about your promposal interfere. This takes mental toughness and the determination not to let outside factors affect performance. Concentrate on the test. Attention all juniors. As an added incentive for your attendance and efforts on the ACT on Tuesday, all juniors may be allowed to wear out of uniforms so that you can dress comfortably and in layers. You must not wear pajamas or anything else that is inappropriate, but otherwise you may be out of uniform. All juniors who show up to take the test on Tuesday may also be out of uniform the following day too. Homeroom teachers will know who does not attend on test day, so be sure to be present. Junior class officers, Ms. Champion and Mr. Moore are also planning a cookout for all students who make benchmark in one subtest area. You will receive more information about this event after scores are returned. So be here and ready to give your best effort. Attention juniors and seniors. Prom tickets will go on sale next week at $20 each. This price will increase after spring break. You may purchase early tickets in Ms. Champion's room 406 beginning next week. In order to purchase a ticket for a non-Foley date, you must complete an application form and have it approved by an administrator prior to purchasing the ticket. Any current sophomore that is interested in being part of the Junior Ambassadors program next year needs to pick up an application from Ms. Mason in room 810. The applications are due Thursday, April 5th, the week we return from spring break. The interview dates will be April 24th and 25th from 3 to 5 in the conference room. You will be contacted about your interview time after you turn in your application. Echo Lions! If you filled out an application for co-op and turned it in, your teacher recommendation forms are due by next Friday the 23rd. Also, the color-in has been rescheduled for May the 1st. We will have more updates on the announcements after spring break. Good morning, seniors. Friday, April 6th, during Skinny Block, seniors will face off with different faculty members here at Foley in the Senior versus Faculty Jeopardy match-off. Any seniors that are interested in competing against the teaching staff need to see Ms. Cody. Come on, class of 2018. Show FHS faculty what you're made of. Good morning, Foley High School. This is the Watts with your locker room report. Football trials will be every Monday and Wednesday from 3.15 to 5 in the afternoon. Trials will run through stream training. If you have any questions, you can contact Coach Shiblett in the Lions Den. 
This weekend's schedule starts with softball. Senator's softball team will be taking on Theodore here on campus with the varsity starting at 4 and the JV at 6. The tennis team will be in action this afternoon with a home match against Alma Bryant. The matches will be held at Cedar Street Park beginning around 3.30. The boys soccer will be participating in the Baldwin County Tournament in Fairhope both today and tomorrow. The JV baseball team will be in Alberta tomorrow as they play Murphy at 2 and Alberta at 4. The track and field will be competing in a Gulf Shores St. Patrick's Day meet. Good luck to all the teams as they compete this weekend. That's all from your locker room report with David Watson. Have an amazing day at Foley High School. Good morning, Foley High School. My name is Grayson Mitchell. And my name is Madison Bright. And this is your Lion Pride weather. After a rainy weekend, Monday morning we'll have scattered thunderstorms and it will be partly cloudy in the afternoon. You will also have a high of 75 and a low of 57. Have a great day, Foley High School. Today for lunch, we'll be having a hot dog, mixed vegetables, sun chips, fruit, and don't forget your grab and go. Have a great day. What that's all announcements we got for you today? Our shout outs go to Noah Abbott and Ariel Lipscomb. Don't forget that today's B Day. Have a great day, day full of high school, and have a good weekend.